Hello guys, welcome to more by Forex. Today I'm going to show you how I actually took this trade and actually my thought process until I get to this level. So here you can see that this is the trade that I'm talking about here, which is nearly one is to 20 or 30. I didn't actually measure it, how big it is, but it's actually big. So here is what I was thinking. Here you can see like here we have a consolidation happening here. So if you go closer in this consolidation, you will see that here in this consolidation right here, that was very, very clear on a four-hour time frame. But here, which direction did I actually choose? Because here you can see the market was actually moving up, but now it was actually starting to reverse. So how did I see that the market was actually starting to reverse? So here before, you can see that the market was actually taking the highs here, but not taking the lows, which means it was actually in an uptrend going up like this. Then it came to this level right around here, where the market actually started to turn going down, taking the lows right around here. So with this very big move right around here, I knew the market was actually starting to go down. Then on the daily time frame also, it means the market was actually going down for a very, very long time. So here the goal was very, very easy. If the market went up, I would sell at this level and actually take partials at this low. Instead, the market started to consolidate or go on forward. So here the first trade I took here, the market actually went up and then came down to the take profit right around here, but actually went up again, which means the other trade which I have taken was actually stopped out. And then I took the other trade around here, which was the turning point of this trade. So let's take a look closer at this trade on a one hour time frame or a 15 minute time frame where I actually took this trade. So here you can see that here on the one hour time frame, the market started to make a little consolidation at the high of the what? of the range, which means if the market actually broke down, then the market was actually going to go down in a very, very long time. But if the market actually broke up, then it means it was going to continue with the upward motion. So here I saw the market actually breaking down here around here, but it not actually closed below what? Below this consolidation on a one hour time frame, which means the first pullback wasn't actually a good trade. Then it actually broke down after this. After this breakdown on this red candle right around here, that's where I went to a 15 minute time frame to find a perfect entry that was actually suitable for this trade. So now here on a smaller time frame, which is the 15 minute time frame, you can actually see everything perfectly clear that here the market was now in a consolidation, like the one we saw in a bigger time frame, which we are right now. And actually we are at the high of that consolidation, which means if we break down, then we are going to sell for a very, very long time until we get either to the law of the consolidation or maybe down into a very, very long term. So here you can see that, yes, it broke down in a 15-minute time frame, but this wasn't the actual trade which I actually wanted because on a higher time frame, it wasn't really a breakout. It was actually a fake out. Then the actual breakout came around here. That's why I waited for this coming back to the what? The demand zone right around here that you can see here. Then I actually took the trade right around here. And then my stop loss, I actually put it around this level. I don't put it here because it is actually a big consolidation, which means the market can actually go down a little bit, come back out, take that high, and then continue down. But if it takes out this other high, which means the market is actually reversing, or maybe the market is actually starting to break out and continue in an uptrend. So which means here, if I put my stop loss here and hold as long as possible, then the market was actually going to be in my favor. So then I waited and see how the market was actually going. So yes, it was consolidating going on forward, but it was showing that it has more bear pressure than it had with the bull pressure. And then when we are approaching this low of this consolidation, you can see that yes, the market was actually pushing harder than before. So if it was actually going to reverse, these candles, these three candles that you see here, must have been even going smaller and smaller, like what is doing right around here before the pullback. But here you can see that the candle is actually growing bigger and bigger, which means it was actually going to break out right around here. So that's why I did not close the trades right around here. So then you see the market actually breaking out, then retest, and then it actually shoot down very massively from there and on going forward. So now you understand how I took this trade. What do you think about this trade? Was it a good trade? or it wasn't a good trade. And also what would be like the best place to take profit using this trade? Was it at this low or holding it to this low? Would it be also a good thing to hold it back since it's a long-term trade so that it can actually come back down and break this low? 
or maybe just take profit just at this low. What do you think about this? Comment below your thoughts. This is more by Forex. Bye for now.